Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of the power of determination. Have you ever heard the saying, persistence beats talent? Well, the truth is, in many cases, that's true. The world is filled with people who are talented, but yet still have not become successful or have been discovered because they weren't determined or persistent enough when it came down to achieving their goals. Yet, on the contrary, we hear thousands of success stories of people who have achieved their goals due to their relentless pursuit and determination to make their dreams happen despite the odds stacked against them. So what does this mean? We all have a gift to offer the world, but without the determination and relentless persistence to make it happen and take action, those dreams never come to fruition. There is nothing worse than untapped potential, so make it your life mission to discover what that passion is and then go after it relentlessly with sheer determination. If you have a dream or goal that you've always wanted to do, now is the time to make it happen. As Babe Ruth quotes, you can't beat the person who never gives up. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break. How have you been dealing with this quarantine mentally and physically? Because it's, it's crazy times right now in the world. It's crazy that we're all living this right now, but it is what it is and we can't stress about what we can't control. What does luxury mean to you? Luxury. In India, I discovered that true luxury isn't something you buy off a shelf. True luxury is a feeling that you are the Maharani of your world. And it can be all designed around you. All the beauty is yours. All the music is yours. India showed me that luxury doesn't follow designers and brands. True luxury follows its own heart. Incredible India. All natural sweetener, flavor all. 20 flavors to choose from. The perfect substitute for sugar and artificial sweetness. Flavor all by Greenish. Flavor all from Greenish. Now available at Rexall Pharmacies. Next up on the show, we have Amanda Cerny, who is one of the world's top content creators. With over 45 million followers across YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, she earned the spot as one of the top five most viewed Instagram story accounts in the world. Amanda, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm just at home in Miami right now, so. <laughs> yeah, and how have you been dealing with this quarantine mentally and physically? Because it's, it's crazy times right now in the world. It is, yeah. It's crazy that we're all living this right now, but it is what it is, and we can't stress about what we can't control. Mm. We just got to do our part. So for me, I've been... Um, doing at-home workouts a lot. I've been just finding different things, learning new things. I started doing yoga, wow. which is fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Super flexible now. Nice. But also just like writing a lot, staying productive. Yeah. And anyone that doesn't know who you are, which I'm sure everyone knows who you are, you're one of the biggest <laughs> content creators in the world. Um, let's talk about how you started this journey. Why did you want to do this? I, well, I first wanted to do acting, mm -hmm. so I didn't even know social media was really a thing. Mm -hmm. And it was then around 2012 that I started being like going out to different castings, trying to get auditions, trying to find different agents or managers, mm -hmm. and all of them told me I needed a reel mm -hmm. for them to represent me. And I'm like, all right, how do I get a reel if I'm not getting jobs to build a reel? Yeah, so I kind of social media as a way for me to create my own content and create a reel for myself and I just like would post it and put it up if on on this app called mine that that came yes, out with of a course. one yeah yeah I remember mine of course <laughs> so with that it's just short 
you know, little seven second videos that you kind of try to tell a story through and mm -hmm. I used it as a way for me to learn more how to do editing or storytelling and just kind of test it and play around with it. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, mm -hmm. I was also doing collaborations on YouTube with uh, one of my friends was a big creator on YouTube and I was like, all right, anything you need me for, any role that you need me to do, mm -hmm. let me know because I'm trying to build my reel. Yeah. And in doing that, I started to get views on my Vine videos that I was posting at the same time. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, this is probably a thing. I was yeah. getting a thousand views and a hundred thousand views and a million views then two million views I'm like all right this and then 30 million views I'm like all right well <laughs> I'm gonna focus on this and start creating content every day for this platform and through that I taught myself how to edit how to write how to just full-on produce more um, and add more value to my videos on different platforms creating longer form content and I just kind of fell into it and just focusing on comedy. Yeah, speaking of that, I love your content. It's always funny and you always have really motivational stuff. And I also see a lot of obviously exercise videos and fitness. Let's talk about the importance of living a healthy and balanced lifestyle for you. Yeah, I love it. I <laughs> Why well, I became, I don't know what to call it. I became vegan okay. 10 years ago. Yeah. It's, you know, I, I eat local honey too. So I'm like, is it vegan? I don't know. But <laughs> so I eat plants and I started to do that um, 10 years ago. And for me, I just really wanted to do it. And I started doing it with my sister because it just felt like a healthier options for me. And also the envir environmental impact was a lot better than eating any steak or meat or beef or anything like that. So. For me, I was just like, all right, it's like a sustainable lifestyle and it also just feels good for me. Mm -hmm. And I've always been into fitness and health and wellness. My whole family, my mom just, we would all go and run together all the time. Mm -hmm. And I'm really just educating myself more about health and wellness and just doing that every day because it helps, for me, it's like my own meditation. It helps me clear my mind, get rid of the stress mm -hmm. and just feel good about myself. So I do it every morning and mm -hmm. I'm just like, you know, a little bit more relaxed and ready yeah. to like conquer the day. Yeah. And you know, it's important to take care of our health because it's, you know, we only get one body and we got to take care of it. A hundred percent. And of course you put a lot of different content out there. What inspires your work, whether it's a fitness video or it's comedy, how do you kind of, what's the creative process behind it? Do you have one? Yeah, well, with social media um, and for doing it for so long too, your life is kind of out there. Mm -hmm. So even though I my main focus was comedy videos and that that was my focus for the beginning, like when I first started, just for growth and for people to discover my account and discover what I'm able to do and in acting. I was like, all right, well now Snapchat became a thing and Snapchat mm -hmm. stories were a thing, but I didn't really use that to kind of show my personal life as much. I mm -hmm. used it in a way to do more improv comedy on Snapchat mm -hmm. and that's how I grew to be like the top 10 most viewed on Snapchat at the yeah. time. But then with Instagram getting stories, like, okay, and lives becoming a thing, yeah. you, you do start to show more sides of yourself and with that, I always try to be super transparent with my fan base of like, you know, because the questions do get asked. It's like, oh, okay, what do you eat in a day? Okay, um, how often do you work out? And I'm also showing those parts of my life because it is a part of my routine and part of my daily routine and mm -hmm. me creating content all the time and always being on camera, that gets exposed to the audience also. So in deciding what I put on what platform and when and where, mm -hmm. I also created um, a separate Instagram account called mm -hmm. Cerny Fit just yes. for my fitness following yeah. or people who really want to know more about that. So on my main page, it's not all fitness posts because the main focus there would be scripted posts. And you know, I also like sprinkle different things in there as well, yeah. just because yeah. I am a bunch of different things and mm -hmm. we don't have to be one thing. Definitely. Were you ever surprised by your success and how many followers you had and how many people resonate with your content? Because people love you. And were you ever surprised by that or surprised at the reaction um, from the audience? Definitely. Um, I mean, whenever you're trying new things, and I, I think that's 
kind of the key to success is getting out of your comfort zone and not being afraid and just saying screw fear and just going for it. Um, and that's kind of what I did. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, I want to do acting. Nobody's taking me seriously. Let me create my own stuff. And when I started doing that and just putting it out there and not just really caring what the comments were or whatever and just improving my stuff over time, mm -hmm. uh, it showed to be successful. And yeah, for me, I, I don't know. I feel like as long as you're passionate about something and you're working hard towards it every day, mm -hmm. that's what makes it possible. Because if you're not passionate about it, you're yeah. not going to work hard towards it every day and you're not going to be successful in it. So yeah, 100%. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, I know. Especially now with everything that's happening, and you know, these past couple of months with quarantine, I feel like a lot of people lost motivation. But as you said, if you're passionate about something, you're gonna get up and do it because you're motivated. Oh, you're gonna you find know? a way. <laughs> yeah, that's you'll part find of a way. Life, right? Problem yeah. solving and finding solutions is almost inspiring. Yes, initially, it's a huge impact. I mean, my family was affected by COVID nineteen for sure too, and their small businesses, but. It's, it gets to that point of like, okay, this is the new normal now. Yeah. So now we have to find ways to make our business successful and make this work and or change our business around and to accommodate the way people are consuming now. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a time to really just reflect and get inspired and knowing that, okay, like this is our job. We got to yeah. figure this out and get out of this. And even 100%. some people lost their jobs entirely. Mm -hmm. And it's like, then it's like, all right, I always focus on just the positive, try to focus on the positive yeah. sides of things or the solutions so rather than just like dwelling on all the negative, you know? Absolutely. And so if you lost your job, it's like, all right, well, were you super happy in that job? Was mm -hmm. it your dream job? If it wasn't, maybe this is an opportunity for you to finally go chase your dreams of what it is that you finally wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And if it, you know, so it's just, there's always different ways to look at things. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's exciting. Yeah, I think that's 100%. A lot of people through this whole time have discovered that as you said, maybe they didn't like their job or they, ha they had a chance to reevaluate where they are in life. So I, I, and you know what, even for me, I've learned new skills. I mean, the past yeah. couple of months, I was filming this show at home. Now I'm in studio, but before, and I learned how to use my camera and how to do all these different things. So I think that's completely true. You know, a lot of people, I'm sure, see you on social media. You're obviously beautiful. Um, you know, you have a great page and it's all, you know, fancy. Um, do you what what have been some obstacles along the way because our show is all about inspiring our audience um, and showcasing people like you that are influential but also you know had a bit of challenges along the way so what are some obstacles maybe you faced when on your path to success yeah um just people saying no it sounds so cliche yeah. but that's a lot of people's experience they get yeah. put down they get told no you can't do it they said the odds are not in your favor or, and it's just as long as if you truly feel inside you or just believe that you can do something go for it like and you failing the idea of failing is scary but just knowing that it's a part of the process and if you do fail at something not to linger in that failure take that lesson so at your next attempt or your attempt to something new, mm -hmm. you you don't make that same mistake again. So it's just like that's the that's the process. And I don't that I, I think that would be number one. I think it's a lot of fear mm -hmm. that holds people back. And I would find moments that it did hold me back a little bit. And I'm like, no, I need to just like have alleg alligator skin and just like yeah. not really yeah. let any negativity affect me and just really believe and love myself and just know that I can do the things that I want to do mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. who's to say what's impossible yeah. you know things are that have never been done before get done in the future so that person just went for it yeah so yeah hundred percent I mean the word impossible says I'm possible so hey, <laughs> in itself true. right so yeah hundred percent um what yeah. advice do you have for people that want to do what you want to do because of course everyone wants to be a youtuber a social media influencer a model all of these things but you know what do you think sets you apart yeah I, I think it would just 
things coming from in here and mm-hmm. me putting it out there. Mm-hmm. Like not me seeing what everybody else is doing, just being like, all right, yeah. that's cool. That works for them. Let me just do the same thing and hope it works for me. Because then you're just becoming a part of all the noise that people see out there and you're losing the part of you that makes you unique. Yeah. So whatever you're putting out there, just make sure it's really coming from within you because if you're just copying the things that you see are successful from other people, it's just really not going to stand out. Yeah, I, I agree 100%. If you're not authentic, then yeah, mm-hmm. you're you're That's not going to be successful. <laughs> yeah. um, you've exactly. done some really cool things. I know you traveled to India. You were a guest girl. You've done some incredible, you've met so many celebrities. What's been the highlight of your career so far? I know that's hard to ask, but something that really stands yeah. out for you. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess partnering with uh, the UN was really exciting for me. Because it, it's a moment <laughs> where I'm like, highlight. okay. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it, it, definitely because Again, things sound cliche, I hate it when they sound cliche, but sometimes it's because it's like the truth, like when you're helping other people, it just makes you feel so good that it almost feels like it's a selfish thing to do to help other people, that amount of good feeling that gives you. So, and I've also like being able to help animals or the environment and all those different things, I don't want to like get too far into that but for me that just is something I was excited about that such a big organization saw me as someone that has a lot of influence that has a strong voice on these things because I've always put it out there and I've always have that within my conversations Mm -hmm. but um the fact that they are like yeah you know that's that's what we represent and we would love for you to be a partner with us because that's what you represent too and getting that message out there is super important. So for me, um, I focus on wildlife and you know helping the environment in different ways and mm-hmm. just, and really the positive again, I yeah. never wanna be preachy with things because for me, when somebody's yelling things at me, mm-hmm. I don't retain it. I'm yeah. like, nah, I'm confused. Yeah. Like. But when they're telling me different facts about things or inspiring me to be something or inspiring me to do things, I get excited and then I take that on and I take notes from that. So I always want to make sure my message is super positive, inspiring, makes people excited, like feels feels good Mm -hmm. because there's so much, so many things that just out there that don't feel good or super negative. So I... I like consuming that type of content, so I just want to push that out there more. But that's been exciting. Um, Obviously, you know, being the face of guests for like a whole year was awesome too. I remember when I was in high school, I would always see those guest campaigns. I'd be like, oh, not me. I could never do that. And that's me telling myself no. Mm -hmm. But it's just like the power of manifestation too, because, you know, after getting over my insecurities, because everybody has them, right? Mm-hmm. And for me, I got bit by a dog when I was, how old was I, like 10? Wow. And I have a scar on my cheek from it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I can never model or be anything because I have a scar and I'm not. And then getting that was just proving to like my younger self that Amanda, like it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's like you built this brand and now you're able to do this because of who you are. And yeah, there's sexy pictures and stuff too and just super empowering and just, mm-hmm but that didn't hold me back. So Mm -hmm. some things that we think are our flaws hold ourselves back because we think that way. Yeah. But I mean, everybody's thinking that way. Yeah. And so that was a big like reality check for me that I thought was really cool. And you know, I I totally believe, maybe I'm just rambling too much now, but I totally believe in the power of manifestation too, of just like, if you see it and you believe it, you're gonna, get all of that into your life so a hundred percent yeah yeah a hundred percent it's funny that you say that because i'm always on youtube looking at law of attraction videos <laughs> and how to yeah, exactly. manifest things in my life and i had another youtuber on my show named matthew santoro and we were talking about how i kind of manifested my show because i always yeah. wanted to have it and it's it's something i thought about 24 7 and it took me a long time it took me years but it's here so 
I, I completely believe in the law of attraction and I love what you're doing with your platform. It's really inspiring and I love your content. It's always so positive. So you've definitely achieved a really positive, uplifting page. So I commend you for that. It's great. <laughs> uh, let's talk about your upcoming projects. Anything new? Yeah, I'm actually really excited about it. Um, well, my birthday is coming up oh. and on my birthday, yeah, June 26, 626, nice. I'm launching a uh, wine with my best friend who has oh. the same birthday as I do and we're yeah. calling it 626. Wow. So my friend and I can batch. <laughs> okay, amazing. Well, happy birthday in advance. <laughs> and Thanks. Yeah, yes. congratulations on all your success and thank you so much for taking the time to be on the show today. It's, it's been a pleasure. Oh, thanks for having me. And I hope you're you're back in the studio now, so you're thriving. But yeah, finally, <laughs> it's back. it's been a long time, I'm but I'm I'm back. <laughs> so come I'm on, I'm gonna anytime. go back at your quarantine content. Check that out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Amanda. Nice talking to you. You too. Okay. Bye. Bye. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.